I woke up like this. I, that's not our intro. <laughs> Delete that immediately. Uh, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to... I don't know. It's, I don't, put something funny in, again. Just just, just like the Undertale series. Save my lack of creativity quick. <laughs> I'm not good at these things, man. There's a reason why I script out all my videos. What, you think I can be funny, like, actually? Fuck no. We need to go fucking take some improv classes. So Honestly, we can, sure. <laughs> we can this be funny. Like fun. I wonder if OU offers those. I would totally take one I of those. I would take one. It'd be funny. Yeah. I, uh, <coughs> I will. Uh, if I, me being an Osage American Indian, uh, right. I have a, I have a card to prove it. Yeah. Holy no. Holy shit! Really? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. You guys are. Let gonna me be see able that. To see this. What? This is me rattling my keys. I, I'm yeah, reaching I'm, into my wallet. I'm very curious about I'm this. I had no pulling idea. Pulling out a card from my wallet. Read what this out. Hell? Read it word for word. Uh, do you want me to read your full name? Yes. It's Dylan fine. Ryan Downing, born 423, 1995, is listed on the Osage Tribal Cenus Roll. Uh, what the fuck? Is this real? Does it look real, my dude? <laughs> yeah, but like, how? Is, what? C c continue, keep reading. <clears throat> um, uh, is listed on the Osage uh, Tribal Cenus Roll as 1 slash 128, degree of Indian blood of the Osage. Tribes Authority approved July 1st, 1921, roll, issuing date, uh, 03-16-2009. Signed some guy. Yeah. Holy no, I, shit. Okay, I, well. I, I have, this This card is important. It proves that I am 1 128th Osage what Indian. What the fuck? I didn't know that. And I get benefits for it. What the shit? <laughs> I never knew you were pri privileged. <laughs> it's, it's like... I get all the benefits of being white, but then I also get extra <laughs> benefits for being American Indian. One one hundred and twenty-eight. Yeah. God so, bless. So let's see. Uh, Congratulations. So let's count how many generations. So, two is two, my parents. Yeah. Four, eight. Yeah, it's just sixteen, thirty-two, okay. sixty-four. Uh, seven generations ago, I had. Uh, oh my god! An American Indian uh, ancestor. Well, <laughs> how does it feel? It feels like uh, where, where I was going with that is uh, if I take. At least five credit hours in the summer, which I'm currently not. I'm only taking three. Uh, I get a fatty two thousand dollars scholarship from the Shh, American Jesus Indians. Christ, congratulations! But the thing is, is that like that's not two thousand dollars in my wallet. Like, it costs more money to fucking take that class, right? <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, during the semester, uh, the actual like good, honest to goodness semesters, um. If I take at least 12 credit hours, I get like 4,900 bucks from those people. Jesus Christ. So what that means, uh, I'm in a extremely small minority of college students where I do not lose money going to school. I what make money. <laughs> I, I get paid I get paid money for my <laughs> higher education. <laughs> wow. Because my my family is also really poor, so I, I rake in the Pell, the Pell Grants, like the, oh, yeah. the, the yeah. federal income. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, I, I get money from uh, Obama and now okay. from Trump, hopefully. Nice. Well, yeah. Maybe not for long. But. <laughs> I've I've gotten a lot of Obama money, and now uh, I'm I've been raking in a uh, Osage Indian money the whole time too. So I I, I make like two thousand bucks a year going going to school. <laughs> well, on that, behalf of my people to yours, we're sorry. <laughs> so I'm very oppressed. <laughs> yeah, and I apologize. What are you doing? But can't even think about no, like all my friends are like, yeah, I'm like, uh, you know. Twelve thousand dollars in student debt. I'm like, oh, Pff. fuck me! I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> and I've I've like made eight thousand dollars over the course of my career, Goddamn. not counting wages. Well, congratulations, <laughs> you won and the, then, the genetic lottery. And apparently. not apparently, and not counting uh, like Smash Bros money or anything like that. <clears throat> oh man. I'm just a stupid white guy. I don't know. I could be one 128th Osage Indian. <laughs> Maybe. I don't fucking know. Oh, I also get uh, free health care with that as well. So, yeah. <laughs> so th this this whole Affordable uh, Care Act stuff doesn't matter to me at all. Jesus Do whatever you want to, Republicans. Doesn't impact me. <laughs> How is that fair? <laughs> what? All of a sudden, people's deductibles are through the fucking roof, and I don't have to give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh right, yeah. Swing that fox. <laughs> oh, I'm mad now. <laughs> why, why can't I be 128th engine? Not engine, but Indian. <laughs> Jesus it's, it's, I'm not offended. I'm it's very okay. Tired. okay. Well, that's good. <coughs> you have I mean, an Indian friend. It's okay. <laughs> I can say that now. Oh, you are, are you are you classified as a person of color? This is I, I can I write down on on everything that asks for my ethnicity, I put American Indian. 
That's so great. <laughs> I like that a lot. Ooh. Yeah. That's, why would you... <laughs> Anarchy! Over? And then his entire fucking, like... Fucking, when is this? There's a bunch of CRTs with static in the goddamn window. I don't know, it's like 2010, 12, something like that. There's not CRTs in 2010. Sure there is. No, there's not. There is in Georgia. <laughs> so. They're just 30 years behind the rest of us. Yes, exactly. <laughs> They're still selling CRTs. <laughs> if you threw a brick like that, it would hurt your arm a lot, also. Would it? Yeah, it's a brick, it's heavy. I want to shop with that bitch. It, the brick's not that heavy. It, how heavy is it? I don't, I've, never, I've not held a brick in a long time, it's, so I could be completely wrong here. But. Like a pound and a half, two pounds maybe? I mean... A brick, like a, just a yeah, standard maybe, fucking okay, building enough. brick? I do not know. What, does it look like I lift bricks all day? Like you? Not like everyone has time to lift bricks all day. Speaking of bricks all day, uh, the fucking construction around here. Oh boy, let's talk about that. It's not very good. Both on the roads and, like, the buildings. Yeah, and perhaps they're gonna completely stop it. So, um, That's gonna be fun. So Oklahoma has, um, a lot of, uh, ongoing road projects. Mm -hmm. Turns like out... A ton, especially, yeah, like, like, around where we are. A fucking lot. Yeah. And turns out we don't have the, the money to, to work on all the roads yeah, that we're trying oops. to build. Uh, turns out all these projects can't fund them. Probably so, should have figured that out beforehand. So Some it, account probably should have gotten fired there. So it, we might just kind of like, we, we, all right, so we're at the phase where we've broken down all the roads and we're ready to rebuild. Yep. And we might just not have enough and money. we don't have the money to rebuild. So we might have just uh, fucked our roads up even more than <laughs> what they were initially. And, I mean, yeah, like our... our Street uh, in Norman, Oklahoma. Oh no! Don't send us pizzas or prostitutes or something. I don't know. <laughs> send us the ladder. Not don't the... troll. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Send us both. Actually, <laughs> yeah. Why not? Uh, yeah, it looks like a fucking war-torn Syria area. Yeah, like, it's really bad. The, the roads really fucked up, and uh -huh. I, we got word the other day that it might not get yeah. fixed. <laughs> we, we got a we got a friend on the inside of the news, and yeah. uh, they're saying mm, they might just like abandon it. Yeah, our, our inside friend. We have, it. The the dude who uh, records opening the DMs for uh, yeah, Jacob's channel, he uh, he is the cameraman for Oklahoma's News Channel Four KFOR. That's right. So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. And he told us that they that he got inside word that we might not have enough in the budget to yeah, fix the roads. That's uh, going to be pretty unfortunate if that is the case. I so, really don't like the roads here. Yeah, and some other construction. Uh, the University of Oklahoma down the road from where we from where we're at uh, is been doing a bunch of building construction, and I ride my bike to school and I've been getting tilted yeah. every single day that I ride my bike to fucking class because there's a bunch of dust all over the place. Yeah, and it gets in my eyes <laughs> when I'm goggles. riding my bike. You'll be like a little anime boy. Wear goggles everywhere. You can just be that now. I just fucking wear goggles riding my bike all yeah. over the place. Like no, some... just like wear them on top of your head like like Pikachu does in one of his in his alt costume. You know. I'm just being the most acoustic kid on campus. Exactly. <laughs> Put a Naruto headband on as well. <laughs> fucking ride your bike with your arms <laughs> behind you. That'd be really fucking impressive. That would be pretty difficult to do, actually. Especially riding my bike through the construction. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Whew. Oh, okay. Well, well anyway. there's a bunch of fucking construction dust all over the goddamn yeah, place, and it gets in my eyes. And I, I'm fucking crying when I show up to class every day. <laughs> Hi, everyone bullies Dylan. He's a little crybaby. I'll fucking beat him up. <laughs> yeah, he probably could. He's pretty built. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, I work out. Are we even... I don't. As anyone could tell from looking at me. I probably should start soon. But, uh... If you need tips, I'm your guy. I mean, I've had a, I've had gym access ever since I moved into my new apartment, because, uh... Oh, yeah, your apartment Yeah, they have, like, a free gym membership. It's pretty cool. Rent, which, uh... I said to myself, yeah, when I move down there, I'm gonna use that and, like, eat better and... Haha, -ha, no. <laughs> the it's the exact opposite. <laughs> it's like, hmm, well... Like, mommy's not making fucking <laughs> food anymore. Yet. Yeah, no more tendies for mom anymore. So I uh, might as well just go out and get a Wendy's burger or something. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah, it's not great for you. Trans fat is like the worst so, thing that you could eat. It is. Yeah. It's very fucking bad for you. Uh, but I hate quite a bit. So, oops. Uh, so when I die at the age of 25, you all know why. From a heart attack. Yeah, when I become the next Boogie2988. 
Yeah. 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 I, I don't know that reference. I assume it's some, some guy that died of a heart attack. What? No, he just. I mean, he's going to sing. <laughs> Do you not know Bo who Boogie is? No, I don't. He's a huge YouTuber. <laughs> No pun intended there. <laughs> Fuck. Just go on your phone, search Boogie2988, you'll know. Right. And also put up a picture when you see him yeah, I've got for the it. first time. He's a, he's a bit of a big boy, to say the very least. Alright, Google. Uh, nope, not my hentai. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that as well, but... <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Boogie. 2988. 2988. Good name. Then I'm gonna go. Oh, laddie. Yeah, he's a big boy. What does he do? Uh, he's a YouTuber. I'm like, what does he do on YouTube? Uh, I don't know. That's a really good question. He does like sketch comedy, kind of, with his character Fran. Like you've probably seen some of his videos, like Francis Nerd Rage. Okay. Smashing Xbox 360. The Francis Boogie 2988 rant. Yeah. The the thumbnail is him. Uh. With literally a bunch of mayonnaise in his mouth and all over his face. Yeah. And he has no shirt on with a mayonnaise jar in the picture. <laughs> and there's a shitty fucking 1992 recliner behind him. Yeah. And a bunch of weeb trash <laughs> posters with what looks like a map of Middle Earth. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that is, that is, but also, fuck, I don't know, Doug. Bros before hoes. Sorry, bitch. See you later. <laughs> Man, we've just really just not given a shit about this game. <laughs> I mean, uh, we're, we're, we're talking about it when it's important. A lot of it's yeah. just when us fucking hacking zombies. Oh, no, well, not Carla E. <laughs> <laughs> I specifically let her die, so that would not happen anymore throughout the series. <laughs> fucking Clem, stop that. This, yeah, we, we like Clem. Oh. Yes, my daughter. Yeah, kick her, Clem. Don't be good. Don't. Why are we. Okay, just stand up. <laughs> don't loot the Clem. Don't, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Run! Objective, run! Oh. All right, we did it. What? Wow! What a twist! He betrayed us. Whoa. Okay. Well, oh, we're, our hands are clipping. We are stand. <laughs> uh. <gasps> oh, oh, no. oh! Okay. Oh, what a twist! Friendly. Oh, thank you very much, Kidney. <laughs> Make sure to click to grab hand. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I'm Carly. Show him your dick while you walk out the door. <laughs> Why? Why don't I do that? It's a. Uh, Fuck, this is probably going over everybody. All like 99% of our viewers' heads. Uh, fucking uh, Marshawn Lynch's The Beast run. The, it's the, over my head. Yeah, it was uh, it was a playoff game. The Seahawks versus I think the Saints. Oh no, it's not anymore. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, and Marshawn Lynch pulls off the most fucking amazing run that you've ever seen in your goddamn life. And as he jumps into the end zone, he turns around and fucking <laughs> grabs his dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As he dies into the end zone, it was <laughs> the best football moment that's ever happened. Uh, Marshawn Lynch is my goddamn hero. Yeah, what a guy. Ha did, have you seen uh like uh fucking I'm just here so I won't get fined that whole shit? Uh, it was familiar. It was it was it was some event of some sort. I don't think it was, it was like a playoff thing. The Seahawks qualified for the playoffs. We're talking about American football, by the way. Yeah. Um, Marshawn Lynch. Uh, he's he shows up to the interview every single time. Any interviewer asks him a question, he leans into the microphone and says, "I'm just here. I'm just here so I don't get fined." <laughs> That's and then, funny. and then somebody else would ask him a question, and he's like, "I'm just here so I don't get fined." <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, he, if he didn't show up to the interview, he get he was, fined? yeah, you're required to show up to those. <laughs> what a fucking and badass. he he fucking hates the press. What a, what and a then, guy. And then he like fucking retired at the age of 31 or something, like really young. Good for him. He just kind of fucking dropped the R bomb and said, "I'm fucking retiring." Right, see you later, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking good good luck, Seahawks. <laughs> he was he was like a really fucking good running back too. Well, <laughs> hopefully he's not one of the NFL players that kills himself within the next 10 years. No, so. it seems like he's having a blast. He fucking posts pictures on his Twitter of him like fucking jet skiing and shit. Nice. Good for him. He's a, he's a fucking great guy. I, I yeah. love him. I'm sad he retired. Well, I'm glad he's happy. He's like a good guy. He just fucking like just shit on the press and like his entire <laughs> career. That's <laughs> funny. Uh, oh yeah, also this is Glenn from The Walking Dead. Oh, is it actually just straight up him? Yeah, that's like the character. Okay, cool. Uh, right uh, now he's about to leave to go meet up with Rick and the gang or something. Crossovers! Whoa! Oh, they had to. Because yeah, I mean, else it's not a Walking Dead game. You don't have one of them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's an entire Telltale game about Michonne specifically. Okay. I think. We might play that. Maybe. If you want. Is, is this like, uh, this is still the same like time period? Like all this is uh, concurrently happening? Uh, Yeah, this is like right as the outbreak happened. Well, he's literally going to meet up with a group which Rick runs into. 
Oh, okay. So, so he so he doesn't know Rick yet. Yeah, as he's no. driving his fucking Domino's car away. <laughs> yeah, he's a pizza delivery man. <laughs> remember? No, I, I don't. Remember. I, yeah. don't, I don't remember that plot detail, but... Yeah, because no. he's running around the city with Rick and like, What did you do before the outbreak? It's like, I delivered pizzas. I just remember that he fucked that one chick and it was yeah, pretty Maggie, cool. Yeah, Maggie. She was pretty cute. Shout out to whoever played Maggie in The Walking Dead. Kiss me, maybe. Yeah. I'll fly you out here. Do this, please. Just kiss me. I beg of you. I'll fly you out here. Just, I'll, I'll fill out your Amazon wish list. I'll buy any game you want on Steam. Please! I'll donate to your Twitch account. I think you're not like all those other girls. You're not like the other Twitch stream girls. You're one that'll acknowledge me. Did you- have you ever seen what I just referenced also with the I'll buy you any game on Steam? Please. I mean, it just sounds like a stereotypical white knight. <laughs> It was a it was a thing from a long time ago. There was the TF2 video uh, where some girl was just fucking playing TF2, and some guy sent her a friend request and really wanted her to accept. Okay. And uh, it starts off innocent enough. It's like, hey, you should add me. He has like hard acousum, so <laughs> that's what he sounds like. But not too long, it divulges into him like breaking down into tears and crying, be like. <laughs> Please, I don't have any friends. I'll buy you any game on Steam. Please add me. Oh, was he in? Was he in comms the whole yeah, time? Yeah, it was. This was all over voice comms, <laughs> and people were just fucking weirded out. How did he get? Into, was it like a like a sub Discord or something? What? Like, no, it was just like TF2, the game. Oh, it was like from a long time ago. Oh, like like a like a pub blog. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, <laughs> so uh, that's even worse. Yeah, a lot of people were just like, dude, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? Whenever there's stuff that's like super extreme like that, I always question the the fucking Legitimacy of it? No, that seems pretty like, authentic. And like so. maybe it's just some dude that thought it'd be really funny. <laughs> I mean, it was funny to me at least. Uh, that's mean. Don't make fun of Oz. Excuse me. <laughs> you know uh, what? Let's go talk to Clem. I have autism, and that really grinds my ears. Uh, can we give Clem a piggyback ride to wherever? Uh, just, yeah, sounds maybe. like fun. We could be her new dad. Yeah, we are her new dad. That's been established. <laughs> Doc, get away but from me. We can teach her how to ride a bike. Exactly. And we could beat up this kid that's making fun of her. <laughs> he, he, no, they're friends. <laughs> Doc's nice. <laughs> He's one of the nice ones, okay? Did you, have any, did you have any friends or people you knew in high school I that had friends? That so. that's why that's why I threw in the addendum people you knew. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. In high school, they had like a, a stupid nickname like Duck. Um, because I had one. God, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I'm I sure had, there were. I had a I had a dude that went to my high school. His did nickname you have was Gilligan or whatever the that, fuck his that name was. was. It, legitimately, that was legitimately just his last fucking name. Oh, was it? Yes. Oh, I thought, okay. I thought you were all making fun of him. I mean, his last name was Gilliland, Gilliland. but we would just get, kind of say Gilliland. But no, there was a, a dude that uh, I actually don't know his real name, but everybody called him Grub. Like Grub? Yes. Why? <laughs> that's what Grubby? No, that's what he preferred to go by. I don't know. It's fucking Redneck Oklahoma. Fuck if I know, man. <laughs> man, I could have called myself Grub. That would have been cool. And, and he was fucking... He was like, he was like five foot four, 95 pounds. <laughs> what the fuck? And really fucking just dirty redneck. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, you either got like the the fat mullet rednecks, or you got yeah. like the twig, or the skinny mullet rednecks, <laughs> <laughs> or like the the twig fucking uh, dipping yeah. rednecks. Put on a fat lip before class. <laughs> Stupid teachers making me to spit it out. They don't no, know a good dip. That was a thing at my high school. That was a thing in my high school. Yeah. And I was actually in like a very affluent place. Yeah. What the fuck? That yeah, fucking. They're just legitimately, legitimately. I keep, I keep saying legitimacy. It's fucking uh, yeah. acoustic, but me too. <laughs> legitimately, they're just fucking like breaking the law in class. And yeah. The teachers like you can't do that. <laughs> Why not? Teach come up. <laughs> What's wrong with that? At least you did. Come on, take a liver, bud. Just put her in. You'll look real like it. Here's some uh, backwood Co Copenhagen mint twists. Here you go. As he tings. <laughs> the spittoon that's yeah. located in the class. Yeah, exactly. As they tell they have you. have those that. in all Southern high schools. They're mandatory. They're like rams for people in wheelchairs. In the South, you need spittoons for fucking something for, kids. For ting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh no, it's dark! Wait, well, it got dark fast. Where's the electricity? Uh, who who forgot to well, pay the electric bill? Ah! 